Hey guys, so today I thought I would show you my updated Harry Potter autographs folder. If you've been a long-term subscriber, then you've probably seen uh, most of these before. But I have updated my folder and I have sectioned it off. It was sectioned off before, but not in a not very not very good, basically. So I have resectioned it off to make it a bit nicer. Now, I do have more Harry Potter autographs. The, I'm just showing you this folder today. This is the bulk of my Harry Potter autographs. As you can see, it's quite big. Um, I do have a couple of books. I have Eduardo Lima in a graphic arts book, uh, Warwick Davis in a book, Paul Redfern in a book, and Steve van der Ark in a book. I have John Campling on one of his ones. I have a genuine J.K. Rowling, which is up on my shelf, and I have a genuine Dan Rupert and Emma which is on my wall. I also have a Cursed Child book. My Cursed Child book has been signed by all the members of the cast and I have this little folder here which only has two in it at the minute. Jamie Parker who plays Harry and Paul Thornley who plays Ron. They're the only two I have in there so far. Uh, and I also have a CD signed by Natalia Tenner who plays Tonks. I think that's everything that's not in this folder. But anyway, I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as I can. Um, so I will quickly go through the autographs. If you need any more, if you want any more information about them, then please let me know and I will be happy to do that. So these are the new categories. So first off, we have Hogwarts students during Harry's time. I also thought it'd be nice to show you this in case you want a way to catalogue your collection. So what I do is I write the name of the character, Ginny Weasley, the name of the actress or actor, Bonnie Wright, whether it's a genuine or a preprint, genuine and preprint, as you can see there, and how I got it, so purchase through the mail. That's how I do it. So this is Hogwarts students during Harry's time. They're also colour coded as well. As you can see, I have quite a few of those, and this is blue. So we have two Bonnie Wrights, Ginny Weasley, one genuine, one preprint. That's what you get if you write to her agency. We have two Ivana Lynch, Luna Lovegood. This one's a little bit hard to see. We have a Tiana Benjamin there. She played Angelina Johnson in Harry Potter. I also have another Tiana Benjamin cast card, but that is in my standards folder, so I have two from her. Julianne Hugh or Hoff, I'm not very sure I'm not sure how to say it. She played a Ravenclaw student. Then her brother, Derek Hugh slash Hoff. That's a genuine, that's a preprint. He was on Dancing with the Stars. He played an extra student as well in The Philosopher's Stone. Then we have Chris Rankin, who plays Percy Weasley, who I've met. We have my small Top Trumps signed collection, which is Shafali Chowdhury, Rupert Grint, that's signed on the back, uh, Matthew Lewis, and then James and Oliver Phelps. There's the Rupert Grint. We have Scarlet Byrne, who played Pansy Parkinson, Hugh Mitchell, who played Colin Creevy, Oliver Lavery Farag, I think he was just credited as a student. Matthew Lewis, Matthew Lewis, and I have another Matthew Lewis further on. Freddie Stromer, Cormac McLaggen, that was Neville Longbottom, obviously, if you didn't know. Shari Morris, who was credited as playing a student, she sent me this lovely note, and she also sent me her call sheet, I believe that's what it's called. James and Oliver Phelps, James and Oliver Phelps, James Phelps... Jamie Waylett, Crab. Shafali Chowdhury, Shafali Chowdhury, I have another one for further on. Afshan Azad, Pavati, oh sorry, uh, Pavati Patil and Padma Patil, sorry. Emma Watson Preprint, Hermione. Danny Harmer, who most of you will know from Tracy Beaker, but she was also an extra in Harry Potter. Devon Murray, Seamus Finnegan. Two Robert Pattinsons, one of him playing Edward Cullen in Twilight and the other one playing Cedric Diggory in Harry Potter. Alfie Ennick, Dean Thomas, my genuine Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter, my preprint Daniel Radcliffe, my other preprint Daniel Radcliffe, my rubbish preprint of Dan Rupert and Emma, clear preprint, you can tell, but I keep it anyway, my preprint of Genevieve Gaunt, who played Pansy Parkinson, I thought I was buying an authentic mini card, but I got duped. <laughs> then we have Hogwarts faculty, which is teachers and that kind of thing. This is green. Some of these are broken, so they're in binders of in folders of their own. So we have Zoe Wanamaker, who played Rolanda Hooch. Carolyn Pickles, Charity Burbage. Two Gemma Jones, who played Poppy Pomfrey. Miriam Margoyles, who played Pomona Sprout. 
Applebrook, who played Wilhelmina Grubbly Plank, she signed the back of that, a no, and there's a Christmas card down there. Ian Hart, who played Quirinus Quirrell. David Bradley, who played Argus Filch. Sorry if I'm rushing, but this video is going to be long, I can feel it. Two Jim Broadbents, who played Horace Slughorn. Deborah Lee Taylor, who was credited as playing a teacher, and there's a nice picture, uh, letter in the back there. Four Emma Thompsons. This was, this is her playing Sybil Trelawney. This was TTM. Purchase, purchase, free. Ellen Rickman. This is a genuine. It makes me sad to just look at it. Let's have her a Snape. Leslie Phillips, who voiced the Sorting Hat. Maggie Smith, who played Minerva McGonagall. A Robbie Coltrane preprint, who played Hagrid. And that's the letter at the back you get from his management. Kenneth Branagh, who played Gilroy Locker. I have no idea whether this is a genuine, a preprint or a fake, as it was found in a charity shop. Richard Harris, who played the first Dumbledore. I now have all three Dumbledores. We have Richard Harris, Michael Gambon and Toby Regbo, who played a young Dumbledore, which is at the back of the folder. Then we have Death Eaters and Supporters, so I don't have too many here. We have Femro Greyback, who unfortunately is no longer with us, uh, and he played... Uh, uh, sorry, we have Dave Lagino, who played Femro Greyback. I knew I'd got that wrong. Then we have Nick Moran here, who played Scabio, and I always say, if I ever meet Nick Moran, I'll take this photo to get it dual signed. We have Jason Isaacs, who played Lucius Malfoy. Timothy Spall, who played Wormtail, Peter Pettigrew. John Campling, who played the Death Eater that stopped the train. I all, I've met him twice and he's lovely. I also have his autograph on a wand, like I said. He makes wands. We have a small Susie Tosi, I hope I've said that right, who played Electo Caro. A Helena Bonham Carter preprint, I wish I had a genuine. Then on to Muggles. We have two Fiona Shaws, Petunia Dursley. Three Fiona Shaws, sorry, I forgot I had that one. We have two Harry Mellings, that's actually Harry Melling in Merlin, he played Dudley Dursley. We have Michelle Fairley, who played Hermione's mother, this is actually a shot of her as Catelyn Stark in Game of Thrones. We have Imelda Brown, who played Mrs Cole, she was in the orphanage that Tom Riddle was in. We have Eric Sykes, he's no longer with us, he played Frank Bryce. This was taken from a autograph book and it was given to me. We have Richard Griffiths, again, no longer with us. This is on a magazine article, and this was given to me by, for free as well. We have Christopher Rithin, who I've met. That's him there. He played Dennis in Dudley's Crew. On to Magical Beasts and Creatures, which is quite a lengthy section. I hope I this video hasn't gone on for too long. We have Michael Hembry there. That was bought by a friend. Michael Hembry again, when I met him. We have two Julian Glovers here who voiced Aragog and we have a Julian Glover in my other folder for Game of Thrones. So I have three for him. We have Warwick Davis there as Grip Hook but I also have my signed book by Warwick Davis. We have Kieran Shah who played a goblin. I make these ones myself so I'm the only one who has these. We have Alan Bennett who played a goblin. Adam Alderman, he sent me a nice note as well. Adam Alderman, Artie Shah... Diane Gibbons and a nice note from her. We have Toby Jones who voiced Dobby. We have Lenny Henry who was the voice of the Shunken Head. We have Tony Maudsley who played Bop, and this was from my friend Daniel of Daniel's Autograph Collections. So thank you Daniel. Then we have Spencer Wilding. This is a picture of him as a White Walker but he was actually the werewolf, Lupin's werewolf. He was in the werewolf suit and he's a fascinating man to talk to. I've met him twice. We have Brian Wheeler, just there, a goblin. Here we have my signed picture by all nine goblins that were at World of Wizardry. So that was George Appleby, Graham Hughes, Karen and Max Lard, Jimmy V, Ellen Bennett, Ollie Clark, Michael Hembry and Brian Wheeler. Oh, Then we have Order of the Phoenix and Ministry of Magic, again quite a lengthy section. So we have three Natalia Tinas here, that one's a preprint, these two are genuine. That's allegedly genuine, but I mean, it looks nothing like it. And I also have Natalia Tina on one of her albums, Molotov Jukebox. Then we have Roger Lloyd Pack, again, no longer with us. He played Batty Crouch Senior. We have two Bill Nyes, who played um, Rufus Scrimgeour. I had to think then. We have David Rael, who played Elphias Doge. Again, no longer with us, unfortunately. Then we have two Mark Williams, who played Arthur Weasley. We have two Guy Henrys. This is what he looks like in Harry Potter and this is what he looks like in real life or on another film, I'm not sure. 
uh, Pepe Pius Thickness. We have Imelda Staunton, who played Dolores Umbridge, and we have Sophie Thompson, who played uh, Mafalda Hopkirk. I also have her on an EastEnders cast card as well. We have Alfred Burke, who played the original Elphias Doge. Then we have Nanette Finch, who played Neville's grandmother, Augusta Longbottom, but I think she's only in deleted scenes. We have Jeff Roll, a small card, who played Amos Diggory, Andy Linden, who played Mondungus Fletcher, Jim McManus, who was the original Aberforth Dumbledore before it was replaced by Kieran Hines, which is there. I have another Kieran Hines further on. We have George Harris, who played Kingsley Shacklebolt. We have Robert Hardy, who played Cornelius Fudge. And there are my two Kieran Hines. I forgot I'd even sent to him, so when these came back, it was crazy. Then we have my Beaubatons and Durmstrung section. Um... At the minute, I only have Stanislav Ivansky in here, who played Victor Crumb, but I made this section because I'm hoping to write to more of the actors who played Mobaton and Durmstrang students. Then we have ghosts and paintings. Not too many in here. So we have three Simon Fisher-Becker, because I've met him three times. He played the Fat Friar. Then we have Terran... Oh! No, we don't. I'll show you this first then. We have Terence Baylor, who played the Bloody Baron. Another one that was taken this year. He's no, no longer with us. We have John Atterbury, and I'm sorry, I can't remember what he was credited as, so I'm going to have to just skip back. He was credited as Finney's Nigellus Black. And we also have an old man, the old man in the portrait. Let me go back. Which is Freddie Davis, and it's a really bad copy, but this was given to me... We believe it's a preprint. This was given to me by my friend Greg. Then we have video game voice actors. So we have Jonathan, I believe this is Jonathan Harden. Let me just double check for you. Yeah, Jonathan Harden, who voiced Xenophilius Lovegood in the video games. We have Alan Cordner, who voiced all these people in the video games. He sent me these, well, I made the collage, and then he sent me this and a note. We have Shafali Chowdhury again and Neville Longbottom, uh, Matthew Lewis, because they voice themselves in the video games. And we have Louise Gold, who was the voice of Pominus Sprout in Harry Potter Connect. And I can never remember this guy's name, so I'm very sorry about that. Let me just quickly flick back. Jonathan Kidd. There's too many Jonathans in this section, I'm telling you. Yes, Jonathan Kidd, who I made this collage again. I made this too. He voiced all these people. I'm so sorry this is so long, so thank you if you stuck with me. Behind the scenes, again, quite a lengthy section. We have Ian White. I made this for him when I met him as Olympe Maxime in Full Body Shots. You may also know him as one of the mountains in Game of Thrones. We have two more Ian White. Look at the size difference. That's me. That's him. We have Martin Bayfield there and there who was Hagrid's body double and he also played the young Hagrid in Chamber of Secrets. He actually is the first person that has sent my letter back to me and wrote on that. So that's why my letter's in there. We have Chris Columbus who was the director of the first two films. We have Janie Termeem, I hope I've said that right, who is the costume designer for all the films. So she wrote on there and wrote on that. We have Paul Warren, who was Harry Potter's body double in The Order of the Phoenix. We have Stephen Fry, a couple of times, who voices the narrates the audiobooks, in Britain anyway. And I love this photo, it's gorgeous. This is him as Reaver in Fable, like another one of my favourite franchises. Then we have three J.K. Rowling preprints, but I do have a genuine. We have a Mina Lima preprint, you get this when you purchase from them. I do have Eduardo in my book. I have Nick Dudman who was a creature and special effects and makeup. There's the goblin makeup, that kind of thing. And then we have others, which is, I couldn't find a, another category or a section for them. Ryan Turner, who played Hugo Weasley in the epilogue. Hazel Douglas, who played uh, Bethelda Bagshot. John Hurt, who played Ollivander. Michael, oh, it's not Michael Hembry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't remember his name. It will be in my thing. Let me flick back just quickly for you. Michael Barber. There we go. We have Michael Barber. This was the costume he was supposed to wear in Harry Potter, but he never actually made it. He was supposed to come out of one of the prophecy balls in Order of the Phoenix. And he sent me a Christmas card because it was around Christmas time. Daniel Hill, who was a extra. I think he's credited as Stuttering Wizard or something like that. 
Ben Shepherd, Ben Shepherd. He did the Harry one of the Harry Potter documentaries, and he was also in Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince as a Diagon Alley father, I believe he's credited. Martin Ballatine, who's just there, who played Mundun Mundungus Fletcher's associate. Ellie Darcy Alden is behind there, who played the young Lily Potter. Toby Regbo, who played the young Dumbledore. And finally, the last section is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I don't have many of these, but I'll show you who I do have. So I have Catherine Waterstone, who is playing poor Pintina Goldstein. Or Goldstein. I have Ezra Miller, who is playing Credence. I have Eddie Redmayne, who's playing Newt Scamander, of course. I have Mike Gabatis who is an extra in gala guest scenes, I believe. I have Paul Redfern there. I have Paul Redfern and Mike Gabatis. I have Paul Redfern there. That was Paul Redfern in Harry Potter because he's been in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them. And he has also signed my book. So that is all of my Harry Potter autographs in this folder. I'm so sorry this video is long. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.